On St. Patrick's Day 97, Shamika Holdsclaw led the Lady Vols with 24 points on 10 of 16 shooting and 12 boards in the win over Oregon. The victory over Colorado and Iowa City set up an Elite Eight matchup with undefeated UConn, who had beaten the Lady Vols earlier in the season. Another double-double from Holdsclaw led Tennessee to a win. Tonight I played with a lot of emotion. I was excited. Um, I think our team did some great things, and I just wanted to give them a lift, you know, come in and do what I had to do. And many fans greeted them at the airport at 3 a.m. to celebrate an improbable Final Four trip. They said there'll be some people. I said, surely not. I mean, I know I need to get to bed. I've lost my voice, but it was really special. Listen to this line from Gina Miller's story for WBIR. UT was not supposed to be in the Final Four. With their worst record in 10 years and an early exit from the SEC tournament, those fans on the bandwagon could have easily jumped off. Not dissimilar from this season. That 97 squad handled Notre Dame easily in the Final Four, then avenged another regular season loss by beating Old Dominion in the championship game to claim Pat Summit's fifth national championship. I say never doubt a Tennessee team. You know, you never doubt what Pat Summit can do. She's the best coach in the history of women's basketball, and, you know, I've enjoyed playing for her, and in your face to everybody else, I guess.